Hi Virgo, it is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do your reading. This is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This reading is not time specific, so take what resonates and leave the rest. As far as the timing goes, well, who knows, right? So The universe knows. That's who knows. Let's talk about this. So, we, let's see, what do we have for Virgo? What do we got for Virgo? <laughs> well, we got somebody taking action. All right, this is uh, act now, think later. This is some somebody like in a hurry. This is somebody very passionate. Um, making a move by the looks of looks of things somebody is about to make a move and it's whatever's happening it's it's based from passion it's like they have this desire to do something and they do it they do it so somebody's about to do something um hmm. ooh wow well, well 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 Looks like you may not see this person coming, okay? You may not see this happening because you're you're facing in the other direction. So you could be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Um, it doesn't have to be a fire sign. Whoever this person is, this person is very exciting. And they are excited about you, okay? Um, they're definitely attracted to you. And they got something for you by the looks of things, Um Looks like you're 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 not really focused. You probably don't see it. It's like you're you're looking. Um, you're very stable. You're very solid. Um, maybe you're working hard. You're not really. You don't see this. You don't see it. Ooh. See, maybe you're not even looking for it. You're not even. You're focused on your coin. You're focused on your money. You're focused on your job. You're focused on your home. Um, you may not be looking for any kind of uh, one night stands or anything like that. You're not looking to start anything really with anybody. Hmm. You know, I'm not sure. Is it for some of you, you, you may want to think about this. Take more time to think about it. This person is obviously very attracted to you. And you may be, you know, you're, you're probably wondering, should I give this person a chance or not? Um, Eight of Cups, you, you you know, you're wondering, should I just let this, what, what the hell is this? What the hell? Uh, ooh. Hmm, you may not trust this person. It definitely could be a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, it could be. Whoever this person is, this person is very passionate. This person is a leader. This person is strong. This person has a lot of confidence. Um... But it looks like you don't trust. It looks like you don't trust with that Ace of Swords reversed. You may turn them down. You're thinking about turning this person down. Maybe because they're moving so fast. This person, when they see something, they go for it. And it's like this person is very attracted to you. And you're like, is this really stable? Are you stable? I mean, this is too fast for me. Um... The death card reverse. Not this is like resisting change, and this is also fear of the unknown. It is. It's like you're not seeing a situation clear. You may not be seeing a situation clearly because this person is so fast. You know, um, you, and you're not used to fast. You don't like fast. You don't. You like slow, slow and steady. And this person is like right now. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, you may not be seeing a situation clearly. This person could, probably could make you really happy. Um, three of Wands. This is delaying, trying to, to hold this person back by the looks of things. You may be trying to stall this person. You may not see that this could lead to a really happy relationship. It's like all of a sudden, the, and this is very sudden. It's like all of a sudden you have this arrival. Um... And you may not trust it. It looks like you don't trust it. You you don't know if you should give this person a chance or if you should walk away. This person is so different than you. You're slow. This person is fast. You know. <laughs> 
yes, this person is very fast. This person is like charging into your life out of the blue. They're communicating with you. They they want this right now. It's like just do it. They're, that's what. Come on, right now. That's what I hear. Right now, let's do this. Right now, come on, let's go. You know, this person is just like very very enthusiastic. Uh, this person doesn't like to sit around and wait by any means whatsoever. Um, you got somebody that is rushing, charging into your life. Um, and you don't know what to do by the looks of things. I think you're very afraid of getting yourself into any false foundation. It's like beware of false beginnings, right? It's like boom. And this is absolutely a boom moment. This is a boom moment as well. This is holy shit kind of boom okay so this is um this is some sort of this is a rude awakening that's what this is it's like damn where did you come from where did you come from that is what this is um you didn't see it coming and this is what this is the three of arms you don't see this person coming you don't you don't but they're coming and they're coming quick and very quick and it's going to be very sudden. Um, they're going to be very attracted to you, and they're going to they're going to want to um, get you to move fast. And that is probably going to make you very uncomfortable. Um, you know, you're not ready to just fly into anything. And this person um, is a fast mover. Put it that way. Um, <laughs> seize this new opportunity this is an opportunity that could bring you happiness this is in your challenge position okay it's like you have this new opportunity but fear of the unknown fear there's distrust fear of you know a false foundation that's what we got here so this is take the new opportunity You know, look forward now. Um, I think that you were probably in a situation where maybe you weren't loved or you weren't taken care of or you may have been dealing with somebody who was abusive. And abuse comes in many forms. Somebody that neglected you, somebody that um, treated you really badly, said a lot of mean things, said a lot of nasty words to you that has made you you know, fearful, this, the death reverse, fearful of getting involved, okay, um, this will not resonate with every single person, this, the king of swords reversed is, is somebody that is mean, somebody that is very mean, it's not the same person, it's not, that's why you, you aren't really accepting, that is what's caused you the fear, and you're still holding on, the death reversed is holding on to you know, how the other person treated you. And I feel like you, you were treated really, really badly by another person. Um, and now it's brought your confidence down. You may feel like you're not good enough. The person in the past, this is the past. And your challenge is letting go of, you know, the image that that person made you feel like you were. You know what I mean? You may have, you may have felt like... You weren't good enough because that other person put those thoughts in your head that you weren't good enough. They made you feel like you weren't good enough. They made you lose your confidence in your self-esteem. Anyhow, I feel as though you need to let go of that. those thoughts. You need This is an opportunity. You are good enough. Um, you are attracted enough. Let go of that. There's a, there could be a self-image problem here that that other person brought on to you, you know. Um, you're very valuable. You are very valuable. And I think now you know your value or something like that. You see your value and you may not feel like, you know, I'm not good enough for you, whatever this is, but you are good enough. You have a lot to offer. And I think that you need to let go of those old thoughts that you're not good enough because you really are good enough. But anyhow, um, you have uh, somebody coming into your life very, very quickly that probably sees you as, you know, the relationship, the solid, stable relationship that they've been looking for. But your distrust is is hindering this 
from um, moving forward. And I think you're really not prepared for it. You've got a lot of past hurts that are, that are holding you back. It's time to let go of those past hurts. This person can help you to heal. This person is intending to help you to heal. I think this person knows that you have been through a very painful situation. I do. I think this person knows that. I think this person knows that your self-esteem is down. And I think that they are really going to try to pump you up. I do feel that way. Um, this could be the answer to your prayers, believe it or not. And I think you, you, you may be in a state of disbelief. Um, it really is time to let go of that stagnation, let go of that dead end. Give this person a chance is my advice. Try not to worry so much. Um, I see that you're very worried. You're, you're probably very anxious about getting involved with whoever this person is. Um, it's like closed off emotionally. You need to be playful, open up. Um, it's time to get unstuck, break free, break free from that old mentality. Um, stop wasting your time. It's time to really be happy again. There's happiness under here. Stop protecting yourself. And there's no need to invest in the past anymore. There's no more growth there. It's time to let these seeds blossom. I think that there is something coming together, you know, that was uh, probably meant to come together at this time. I think that you might already know this person. Maybe maybe you knew this person when you were a child. And, and now it's time to come together with this person. It feels like these, it's something that is coming to fruition that was planted like a really long, I think long, long, long time ago. And now it's, it's coming back around and it's going to help you to disengage from the old mentality that you have been hanging on to. It's almost like this is your, uh, what's the word for it? Um, and I don't like to say this, but it's, um, it's like, this is your, your hero, you know, it's like your, here comes your hero. Your hero has arrived and this is the time. I feel like this person you may have relocated to a different area and it's like now they're back. I don't know. Maybe that's you that's relocated. Um, yeah, you, you, this, is, this person um, I think is high energy. Definitely high energy. This, there's, and I feel like you will be very curious about this person. This person will be uh, communicating with you and trying to get you to open up to them. Trying to get you to um, probably go have a little fun. They might invite you out somewhere. They may, you know, want to take you out. Um, you're definitely unaware of this connection. I believe this is some sort of connection that you made when you were young. And I don't say that often. So this is some sort of connection that you made a long time ago. And I feel like you are unaware that this person is meant to be a part of your life. Um, it is definitely, this goes back to your childhood. I know that it does. I know that it does. Um, I don't know who this could be. And I don't, but the thing is, I think you know this person, but you don't know who it is. You know what I mean? You know this person, you know them, but you don't, you can't see, you know what I'm saying? It's like, you can't, like right now you're probably thinking, who is this person? That's right. That's what you, who is this person? Who is this person? Who is this person? It's like, you can't predict who this person is. It's, that's weird, isn't it? It is. Anyway, um, it feels as though, you know, you're going to be very pessimistic about this. Very pessimistic. What is this person's intentions? I think this person has had their eye on you for some time. Or they've been thinking about you for a long time. Um, they probably you may not have communicated with this person yet.
this person could definitely be an Aries. Um, definitely. It's, I, I really feel like this person is a fire sign. I do. It's very strong, prominent fire energy here. Doesn't have to be a fire sign. Could be an air sign as well. Uh, we have strong air and strong fire. So Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Whoever this person is, this person is very wise. This person is very strong. This person is a boss, a leader, a manager, um, has is very knowledgeable. This person wants to help you. They want to protect you. They have a plan. And it's like when they see you, it's like, I want this and I'm going to have it. So um, be prepared. You're not going to be prepared for this. You are not. You're not even going to see it coming. Um, the Six of Pentacles. This person is going to give something to you. Something that is going to bring balance and harmony to your life. I feel like this, you should give this person a chance. Don't dismiss them because they move so fast. This person does like to move fast. This person doesn't waste a minute. No, this person isn't going to waste any time. It's because when they see you, they're going to be so attracted. They're going to be attracted to your stability. That's what it is. They're going to be attracted to your stability and your security and, you know, your feel, your aura. The fact that, you know... You don't move fast. They're going to be attracted to that. Um, yeah, so Virgo, I feel like you are about to receive something that you somebody is like charging into your life. You don't even see it coming. You don't. This person is a boss of some sort. And that doesn't mean that he's the he's a boss and he he looks at he or she looks at themselves like they are the boss, you know what I mean? It's, it's the way it is. This is what I want, and I'm not going to take no for an answer. This person will not take no for an answer. They will message you, and they will be after you, and they were like, no, I'm, I'm, just do this. Come on, let's go. That kind of thing. Two cards. Let go of control issues. Allow this situation to unfold naturally. Allow it. Allow it. Oh, my God. New love, a new person has stirred your romantic feelings. Be prepared, Virgo. You don't see this coming. If I had to guess based on my intuition, I would say that this is a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This is somebody that you knew when you were young. And that is what I got. Good luck. 